Hey, Rich, how are you, man? All right, how you doing, man? I'm excellent. Well, I, I'm recording, and uh, how how are you doing? Oh, um, uh, well, I got some kind of shitty news from my defense attorney today. Um, so, uh, they finally gave us a plea offer, and it's terrible. Um, basically, they want me to do one year in jail. Um, they would pause my probation. So right now I have two and a half years of probation left. Um, the way they've worded it, when I got out, I still have two and a half years of probation left. Um, and the only thing that they would refrain from doing is pressing charges against me for defending an artist from a violent assault by four men. Um, now obviously, you have a right to defend others, even under the absurd system of laws that is the, the current United States uh, government. So basically, the, the only thing they're offering not to do is give me additional charges for, for exercising my rights. And uh, I'm telling them to go screw themselves on, on that. Um, and uh, what that means in practice uh, the first thing is we're going to be filing for a continuance uh, so that the, uh, the court date on the 26th of this month will in all likelihood not happen, um, which means that um, I'm going to be held without bail probably until at least the end of July. Although I will be asking my, my public defender to put in, uh, basically to ask the judge to set a number for bail, even if he thinks it's an absurd number. I mean, if they let accused of murderers out on $20,000 bond, so it seems like they could let somebody who was accused of having a stick in his hand out on $20,000 bond. So, Anyway, hopefully they will at least set a, uh, a bail number. And uh, let's see. And this all makes the, uh, the fundraising for my defense even more important because I don't, uh, you know, I just don't want to sit in here for another year. I've, I've been there, done that. Um, and so that is the turn current status on that. Um, the other thing that's, uh, that's going on is I'm going to be asking uh, any clergy from either the Shire Free Church or from the Church of the Sword to attempt to visit me um, in jail uh, as a clergy visit, not through the electronic visiting system, but actually um, uh, contact visit just like they were from any other church. And uh, I think that's important because it, uh, it's one more form of recognition that our churches actually exist and are valid. So um, I, I would really like to advance that cause so long as I'm going to be sitting in here for a little while longer. And uh, let's see. So, uh, and I guess the, the good news is, I under, I've, I've read that the uh, NHCLU is getting involved in the tracking stuff. Yes. Uh, that's great. And I hear that Comedy Central is coming to Keen, New Hampshire to, to uh, cover the, uh, the Keenstone cops who are running the town, so that's good. Wow, y news travels fast. You heard that in the jail? Uh, it was in the, uh, Wow. Well, Rich, we're, we're all rooting for you, and, uh, your campaign fundraiser is active at gofundme.com slash go rich paul, and I was there at your hearing today. I know you weren't able to be there. But 
Did somebody tape that? Yes, both Ian and I taped that in full, and I've already posted it all to freekeen.com. So if people want to watch it, yep, they can see it there. Okay, thanks so much. I'm really looking forward to seeing that. I was disappointed not to be there. We were all hoping to see you, but stay strong. You're going to get through this. You've got a lot of supporters on the outside. A lot of people are paying attention to what's going on in there. So thanks so much for everything you do, and, and a lot of people are watching. Well, thanks a lot. And one thing that uh, I was uh, hoping you might be able to do for me while I'm in here would be to give uh, Evan Knappen, and because he is a self-defense uh, expert, or Seth Hipple, just because he's a great lawyer, a call, and, you know, if, if either of them or both of them took an interest in my case, it would, uh, it would probably be a wonderful thing. I, one of the reasons, I think, I think I probably would have won my first case if I hadn't gone with a public defender, so I'm hoping to be able to avoid going with a public defender this time. I understand that. Well, uh... I'm going to end the recording. Is there is there anything else you wanted to say on to the record before I uh, hang up the camera and then talk to you privately? Not really, but if you're listening and you're not yet in Keene, New Hampshire, whether you're in, uh, in Manchester or somewhere outside of New Hampshire, uh, we need reinforcements in Keene. I guess that's the only thing. All right, thanks, Rich. All right, that's activist Rich Paul. His website is gofundme.com slash go rich paul. Go there now.